Oh, it definitely needs to be corrected. Um, I've actually had an opportunity to meet with certain members of the Hispanic community, primarily in Hazleton, and they've expressed to me their frustrations and concerns with the fact that they don't feel that there's an equality and injustice in how certain decisions are being uh, made. I think an eye should be uh, turned towards that segment of our, of our community. I know that there's been a task, a task force assembled to look into that area, and I don't know how um, diligently that has been, been, been accomplished. Um, one thing I definitely feel would be an area that would need to be addressed would be to ensure that there is a consistency in sentencing, a consistency in judgment, and that there is no lines uh, drawn on uh, racial, gender, or nationality. Sadly, I think if we did an analysis, we would find a disparity. There seems to be, at least sometimes I get the impression, of a certain part of the population who feels that a lot of the crime in this area is generated by people from outside. Uh, you hear the term in flux mm -hmm. from time to time. Uh, do you feel that's the case? Um, I haven't had an opportunity to look at the you know, statistics to see who the actual perpetrators of these crimes are. I do acknowledge that mindset, and I've definitely heard it myself. I can offer a possible explanation, and that would be that luckily our area has, en has enjoyed the uh, status as a peaceful um, sort of uh, bedroom community for, for larger cities in one in which there is not a high level of urban change, a high level of uh, change in general, considering that a lot of people that you talk to have lived in the same house that their parents and grandparents have lived in. That is a good thing in some respects, because obviously our family roots are deep, and there's certainly nothing that is negative about that. It is a challenging thing in the fact that because of that history, a lot of people are resistant to change. And because of that history, when we do have people that come in from other urban areas, perhaps because the cost of living is lower here, they are used to living in an urban area and are met with challenges here that uh, lead them to make some really bad choices. And so I think that could be an explanation as to why we see that statistic. <laughs>